Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. And Saz, see what some youths are planning to do after the case of a protester was adjourned. Recall that many Nigerian youths in some states took to the streets to protest against police and SARS brutality in Nigeria. But unfortunately, the protest took to multiple tragic events, including the one that occurred at the Lekki toll gate. Peter Rumusele was among the Nigerian youths who joined the protest against police and SARS brutality in Nigeria. But unfortunately, he was arrested at his home by police officers, and they claimed they didn't arrest him because of his participation in the protest. Peter Romosele was charged to court today, 16th of November 2020, but unfortunately, his court case was adjourned to 17th of November 2020, and some Nigerian youths on Twitter have already planned what to do to support Herumusele at court. A Nigerian man identified as Clinton took to his Twitter account to share a post in which he shared a picture which contains plans to support Herumusele. And he also urged Nigerians on Twitter to follow the plan. In the picture that Clinton posted on Twitter, it could be seen that some Nigerian youth are planning to go to court to support Herumusele after his court case was adjourned. See the picture below. I put if uh, you can see the picture, the screenshot as it passes. After sharing the picture on Twitter, Clinton simply added a caption to post it by saying, if you are in Lagos and can make it tomorrow, please do. Erumusele needs all the support he can get. Get, let's get there. Um, and that said, many Nigerian youth also retweeted the supported and supported Clinton's plan to support Erumusele in court, while others simply retweeted the post for others to see it. And, uh, you know, there were different reactions and um, different, and everybody agreed, youths agreed and said yes, that they will all get there and be there to support him. His case has been adjourned to on the 17th. They moved it a day uh, after. It was supposed to be today the 16th, but it has been moved to on the 17th. I will be keeping you up to date with regards to that. Eru Musele was in his home when all of a sudden um, some policemen came with police vehicle, dragged him out of his house. His, and they took him all the way from Lagos to Abuja, you know, all the way from Lagos to Abuja for about nine days. They took him and he was there. And, uh, you know, they, they've been interrogating him. Even the parents had to, even the parents had to come out. They had to, you know, send a message to say nothing was happened to him. There is, he didn't do anything and what have you, you know. And so that was exactly what happened, you know. And um, they charged him to court. The reason for charging him to court, they said they, are not, they did not take him because he participated in NSAS. But what exactly, what exactly are you charging him for? If it's not for NSAS, what is it for? What is it for? Because that was all he did. You could see Aaron Moselle's picture. He was one of the frontiers. He was one of those who we were calling out, who was saying youth should come out. You know, he was one of those who who spoke elaborately, calling out for the end of police brutality. We don't do that. You don't, we don't intimidate people, you know, and the Nigerian government has taken to intimidation with regards to this answers issue. What are they doing? They're going now, uh, arresting people. About 50 um, celebrities has been charged. 50 celebrities have been charged and they've been told to appear in court. And guess what? They've given the police uh, more, they've given the police more, more strength to say, go and investigate them. They've given the police more strength to say, investigate them under two weeks, the 50 of them. 
and the matter has been charged to court. Guess what? We don't know exactly how what is Okeke's on. Okeke has not seen that uh, students have been home for the past eight months. For the past eight months, talking about Nigerian students, great Nigerian students, they've been home for the past eight months, eight whole months. Nobody has deemed it fit to say, let, let's, even, let's even speak against this government. Let's speak against what this government is doing. This is wrong. You cannot keep children at home. It's not their business. You know why? They are not attached to what is going on in Nigeria. They don't have, they can't be bothered. Their children are not schooling in this country. So why, why bother themselves? Why should they uh, bother? They don't, know, they don't understand that their children are home. If their children, their education was also part of, if their, their children were having education in this system, in the same Nigeria, by the time you go out and come in, your child is at home, you go out and come in, your child is at home, you will see that, you will say, why are you at home? Say, yes, now, daddy, you have not done anything about ASU. ASU, the, the demand of the lecturers asking for a better working condition. Immediately the next day, he will call. Who is in charge? Who is supposed to respond to this? And you will see that things are in order. What happened? Donald Trump, children and grandchildren, have you heard that any of them went to the UK or to Canada to school or to Australia to school? No. No. They schooled there in America because why? The American government has put you know, system in place to make sure that their education is, be is one of the best. So they don't have any need. They don't have that need to send their children elsewhere. Did you hear that um, the Queen's children... Uh, Harry and the, the brother, did you hear that they, they came to Nigeria to school? Did you hear it? They came to Nigeria to school? No, it doesn't happen. They schooled in England. They schooled there in England. So you don't do that. It's only in, it's only in Nigeria that our politicians and these people, they send their children other, to other places to school. Only in England. Only in Nigeria where they send their children to other places to school. This is wrong. If their children were participating in the education of the school, of the country, you will see that they will be more consigned. They will know that these people need to go to school. They will be more diligent. But because, I mean, they, there is no stakes. They have nothing to, so they don't understand it. They don't understand why students have to be, why students are at home for the past eight months. It doesn't bother them, you know. Buhari's daughter got married at 22. And guess what? She has already gone to school, finished, done and dusted. In Nigeria... Let's even say for argument's sake, we jam and everything. So you are the brilliant one. Let's take let's take the, the 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 let's take the very good cases. So you even get into university, let's say at 18 years. You get into university at 18 years to study a course for four years. 18. It's not supposed to be 22. You are out of school. But guess what? In Nigeria, you get to school at 18. Thank God you got in at good time. 20. If you did not have any carryover, 25 years still in school. So these things have to stop. And this is what the youth are crying for, good governance. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.